Oh, so this is a story I wanted to tell you uh-huh. before about, uh, now that I don't have to worry about this other fucking podcast. Um, so I sit down and, and the one guy that worked, now again, I'm not like coming out as a, a wait, Terry Crews here. Real quick, Pete, you mark that thing I said I won't cut? Yeah. Okay, good, we'll cut that, just in case. So I like this bombshell, the, I understand people are, oh, this is the stupid club that canceled me playing there and Dave Smith and whatever that I just put up to laugh at online. I got four like news stations that want to talk about cancel culture. Oh, I go, I don't big. give a fuck about that. I just thought it was funny, this email this girl wrote. Oh, I right? didn't see the email. It, 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 and it's like hilarious. I saw that, it, where is this, in Seattle or something? In where the Chaz was. Remember the Chaz? Oh, so you were, but that was outside. You guys were doing it. Well, no, that, it's the Capitol Hill area. Oh, oh, okay. So it was some club where like, after talking to the community and the whatever, we can't have all these people at the club. And, and you know, I'm not mad at them. Like, bitch, you're going out of business. Like, uh-huh. first of all, you're in a human shit area. Mm-hmm. And um, you have to consult with the goddamn community in the place that seceded from the union during BLM time. Are you, mm-hmm. so hilarious. So when I saw that Capital City thing, I was like, this is the funniest shit. Yeah. I literally, cancel culture died uh, on October 7th. We all know that, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Hamas killed, killed cancel culture. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. uh, I was, it's so much time now. I confuse that and January sixth, October seventh. The dates. Yeah. Half the time they think they're like, oh, what an awful thing that happened. I'm like, what are you talking about? Which one? one? The funniest things of all time. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then and yeah. then they're like, which one? I'm like, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so both of them are the funniest things that ever happened. Yeah. So so uh, that's because so when when that happened, all like the fucking like not the religious like your or. Whatever your religious kind of Zionists that were never wokies, the ones like people that I like, okay, like uh, 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 whatever, like I'll just say Sarah Silverman as an example. I'm not trying to pick on her exactly, but liberal, but love Israel, mm. but they're anti. Or Bill Maher, perfect. Bill Maher, Bill Maher, you know the Bible's stupid, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I learned from Bill Maher. I mean, okay, I that's, learned that too from. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so they all bewildered that there wasn't this flood of support they thought there would be. Yeah. You, know, you spent the last 10 years telling all these rednecks their Bible is fucking stupid, right? right? It's about, what, 70% of the justification for Israel existing. Yeah. The Bible. You're right. Um, I don't get why you believe it should exist since you hate the Bible, but you told these rednecks that used to support you unconditionally the Bible's stupid. Then you told them they're the terrorists instead of the Muslims that they wanted to fight forever for you. Yeah. Now you said, no, it's white gamers and rednecks are the terrorists. Uh-huh. They're Muslim, you know, after January 6th. Then you tried to make their fucking kids gay. Yeah. So now, you Who think they're going to send their kids to Sandy Lane to go fight? I'm sure. My whole, all I understand about it, October Who 7th. Who was doing I, that? I watched, I watched watch secular liberal Zionist where they're like uh, super woke. Right, but they love Israel and they can't. Bo- I watched the footage of October seventh. I don't know anything about either sides of these, but I am pro Mario Kart. Yeah, it did and when look I see guys like riding a go kart with a parachute attached to it, I say those are my guys. <laughs> That's I think, the side I'm on. I think the larger point and whatever side of this thing. And I hate music festivals. Look, whatever side anybody. Imagine on. somebody did that to Bonnaroo. You would be like, good. You yeah, know, yeah. If Coachella got Mario Kart, you know, yeah. if I if you can't feel safe having to rave next to a concentration camp, where can you? Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. the one thing that no matter where this goes, and I think we're all going to agree, no matter what side you're on, is that we're Krav Maga is we're bullshit. It is. It, it's Krav Maga fighting. has never worked. Mm-hmm. It's scratching and biting and tickle. Fighting. I mean, and balls. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. about time. And I'm sorry if this is going to get me in trouble, but Krav Maga is bullshit. We're, I think we can go on the record and say that okay. it's undignified. Mm-hmm. A gentleman would never. Thank <laughs> you.